it's Ronnie and welcome to the scrap five challenge for the month of August and if you'd like to make a layout with the recipe use hashtag scrap five on Instagram so we can see it and this is the list for today and it's by Rebecca Lockhart scraps here on YouTube one diamonds rhinestones or crystals two brads three a one half and one half design four thread five Nouvelle drops, enamel dots, or enamel shapes. And I'm scrapping these two photos right here. They are so cute. And I'm also going to be using this cut file that Debbie Pierce sent me for my birthday along with some other goodies. And I already backed it with all these pieces I'm showing right here because I was wanting to stick with the scraps and use the small paper pad too. Uh, Echo Park is the collection I'm using. And it's called It's Magical or something like that. It is super cute. I'm showing the dies I plan on using and I think some embellishments there, ephemera. I think that's what it was. <laughs> uh, this is the Spellbinders die set and it makes a cupcake. And I'm just assembling it. And since there is two babies in my photos, I'm going to make one for each. Uh, Malachi's has chocolate red and white and blue I believe is what it was and then uh, Everly's is more lavender colors and more feminine looking than his is and the theme of the party was you know Disney and uh, Mickey Mouse and everything so uh, that's why I'm using this collection and I didn't mind sticking the lavender in there. Oh, and yeah, I was pointing out on there. I forgot to mention it, but I did point it out that uh, that cut file does have a um, small shaker box thing in the letter A, I think it was. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it was the letter A. I am putting one candle on each of the cupcakes because it is their first birthday. And I am going to start Everly's um, see, like, cupcake thing, and it was off screen. And I didn't zoom back out because I figured it's not going to stay anyway. And I put the thread on there because I figured even though it didn't say messy thread, it probably meant messy thread. And I do like it when I flip it over here in a second. But then I end up adding the um, topping there. And... I begin not to like it <laughs> so I'm gonna pull all that gold thread out and make some stitching across the top there and yeah I think if I'd left that swirly thing down there on the cupcake liner thing I might have been still happy with it but once I tried to put it up there I wasn't so it all gets pulled out but looking at the video I think I might have been I wouldn't have thought of it as perfect by no means, but I think I've been happy with it. Um, and I use gold because when I was putting that on there, I was thinking, you know, kind of like sparklers coming out of the cake. <laughs> but uh, when I go to make the stitches, I don't even think about it. And I go ahead and use the gold and I could have used another color. But I'm going to just do a back stitch on here. And I did double the thread so it's twice as thick. But I... Uh, I, that's all I'm going to do to it to make sure my thread is on this layout. And yeah, I had to go, di I did not realize all I have in here is the bigger, thicker needles for the embroidery thread. So I had to go dig out a needle out of the sewing basket <laughs> that was smaller for this thread because usually all I do is make messy thread out of this one. I don't think I've ever done anything else with it. And I was amazed I got that needle threaded as quickly as I did because this thread ravels like crazy. I am adding tiny pieces, very tiny pieces of uh, glitter, gold glitter cardstock because it has like a little place cut out of the candle so you can add some sort of whatever to make the flame look a little more real, I guess. And Instead of white or red or orange, you know, because I had a lot of options, I decided to use on the gold, use the gold glitter instead. One half and one half design is on the list, so 
I'm using the stars for the top and then for the bottom I'm using the red and white stripes. I planned on putting a border strip right there. As soon as I got done putting those two papers on there, but I forgot. So I will have to struggle a little bit to get it on there, but I will get it on there. And I wanted to nestle my photos right down into the uh, cut file that Debbie sent me. She sent me several that's titled, so you will be seeing them soon. And uh, I wanted to make my title a little longer. As soon as I seen this cut file, I thought I could use that for my grandson's Mickey Mouse birthday party. And then I thought I could use it on the cake one. Now I planned on having a title similar to the bottom part of this title when I was deciding what to do with the layout and so the title the whole title is going to be feel the magic and find out what birthdays taste like since they are eating their first birthday cake and yeah i was so excited that that was in there and like i said i use scraps for it so it's pretty colorful so i thought i'd use several colors on the cupcakes to go with that theme there i held that piece of wax paper up there to the strip there and decide okay this is about right well it wasn't so I thought I've got that big gap at the top so I'm filling it in with a strip of the yellow and I believe it was yellow pattern paper I do not have the layout in here with me which is very unusual but I finished it last night and it's still in there because I haven't been back in that room <laughs> And I thought I'd get the voiceover done. But if my memory if my, if my memory doesn't serve me well, I can say I slept since then. And that's why I didn't get it right. Um, the photos, one I'm putting straight, but the other one I'm kind of putting at an angle to go with the nestling part. And, oh, there's that border. I remembered it when I started to put uh, Malachi's photo down. And so I'm going to do some tucking. I will later put a bigger piece where I'm putting this smaller one right now. But I'm going to just do it off screen because I thought I got to pull the cut file and everything back up. So, yeah, it's just going to be done off screen. And I am putting this border on and it has little holes in it. So I am pack, packing. I am poking the little holes out and... When I lay it down, you know, I think, I'm not sure if I like that. And then when I go do the right-hand side, I think, oh, I'm still not sure if I like that. So I am going to take some yellow and put behind the holes. So the yellow will show up better. And I think it looks better. And, yeah, if I if I just done this the right way to start with, it would have been a little easier. But it was late last night, and... I might have been a little sleepy. I don't know. I know I do remember yawning towards the end, though. And rather than keep picking up the scissors, I'm just tearing my paper. I figure nobody's going to see it. It's going to be on the bottom. It'll look like nice little round circles by the time I get done. So, yeah, just so I don't have to pick the scissors up and down. Of course, I guess I could have cut little chunks and picked them all up one by one, but... I did it this way instead, the very lazy way. And if whatever foam tape I'm using uh, doesn't fight with me and end up way stronger than me, I'll do that a lot of times with the foam tape. I Let's see, what am I doing here? Oh, I'm adding the brads. Brads was another thing that had to be on there. So I found some little gold ones, and I'm just going to add them around the page. I think I ended up adding six, which I know is an even, even number, but I put three in two spots. And, yeah, I'm using my bigger pad because I thought, well, I'm going to put them all in, then flip them over and spread them out and put the washi tape on them. And, thought, yeah, doing the assembly line thing again. Looking at my layout, I decide even though it is half and half, I kind of want to go angled. So I'm going to go from the bottom left up to the top right. And that means I'm going to put a cluster up there. Right now, I'm putting on enamel shapes. I pulled out enamel dots and enamel shapes both because they were on the list. 
but you had a choice of them or Nouveau drops. And instead of using the enamel dots, I picked the enamel shapes. And so I'm going to put a few of them on here. But while I'm making this cluster up there, I want to mention that down there below, you'll find the links to everybody else that are doing the Scrap 5 today. And you can check them out and see how they use the five items that's on the recipe list. And again, if you want to join in, use hashtag Scrap 5 on Instagram so we can see what you created with the same list of five. I really like that oversized ticket. But when I went to put it up there, I thought it needed something else, something a little darker. That does have the tin that's black. But I decided to add half of the viewfinder reel on there and then do just a little bit of layering and add my camera enamel shape to it. And when I was looking at it, I thought, hmm, I think I want something else off this little sheet here. And I've seen that clock and it is just so cute. But it was kind of fading into wherever I was trying it out at. So I put yellow cardstock behind it and trimmed around it and like that a lot better. It shows up so much better. You get to actually see the cuteness at first glance. I'm adding a heart to each one of the cupcakes because those two are just adorable, of course. Everly is just a little bit older than Malachi but they celebrated their birthdays together. You know, the whole family was going to get together anyway. And so, yeah, they each have their own cake and are together celebrating. And I just love it when they're eating the cake. It makes such a mess. My oldest grandson, he wouldn't touch it. And my daughter was there with the camera waiting for him to make a mess so she could take his picture. And she finally made the mess for him and then took the picture. So if he ever looks at that photo, which I still need to scrap, he will think that he done it, not her. And there's my letter A with the shaker. And there is a couple of the lavender rhinestones in there. And I did put three on Everly's cupcake. So I made the whole list. I have... Uh, rhinestones, brads, half and half design thread, and I also have enamel shapes. So yeah, the whole list. And there you can see the rhinestones on the cupcake. But if you leave a comment down there below, I'll try to get back with you. And if you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. And those of you already are, thank you so very much. And thank you all for watching my video today. And make sure you check out everybody else to see what they created. And have fun on the hop. Have a happy, scrappy week. Bye.